Hi, right, so this is um, one of our crushed laterite and what we're going to be doing is um, testing to see whether this is suitable for our compressed stabilized earth bricks. So, yeah. We have 10 liters uh, bucket here and we filled it halfway with our laterite swell, which is uh, five liters. So what we're going to be doing is just washing out all the clay and silt and see if we have any sand left in the soil which will determine uh, uh, the nature of our soil if it is suitable for compressed stabilized earth bricks or not um, usually or ideally you need 65 percent of sand in the soil so that you can have like um, really strong bricks once you add uh, between six to ten percent of cement so that's what we're going to be doing now so yeah we're gonna go, we're gonna start now. Just gonna pour this in here, like this. Make sure you pour everything in, yeah. Yeah, and then just you can add more water so you're gonna keep on washing it until the water is almost clear and you can start to visibly see the sun like the, 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 the sun like our soil is way different from what we had initially when we first started because we've washed away practically all the clay and silt so once you have something like this and then you can wash it a couple of times like this just use your hand press it in like this and then just carefully pour out the silt and the clay which is going to be um, at the top and at the bottom you have the sand which is the leftover there we go so once you have that which you can see is uh, sand once you have this then you can use your container once you have this you can use your initial container which is this to collect back your sand if you remember we started with just five volume of uh, soil five uh, liters remember when we started our analysis we had uh, soil which was halfway this bucket this bucket is 10 liters and we have uh, we had a soil about halfway which was uh, five liters so out of that five liters we also have about halfway which is uh, sand so we've basically washed away all the silt and clay and we have halfway sand so now that we know that uh, our soil is made of 50 percent of uh, uh, sand which is really really good for compressed stabilized earth bricks with this i think you can add 10 percent of sand if you want and then with just um, eight to ten percent of cement you'd be able to get like really good bricks or if you want you can just add ten percent of cement directly you don't need to add any um sand into the soil virgin soil so yeah this is essentially how you test soil for compressed stabilized earth bricks